Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to make an antique navigational compass like the one you see right here. In this tutorial you'll learn how to use the scale, the rotate and the blend tools. And before we get going, if you like this tutorial or any of the others that we've done, please don't hesitate to leave a comment, give us a like and as always please subscribe. Alright, now let's get going. We're going to use our circle tool right here hold shift and make a perfect circle like that. And then we're going to press S and for the remainder of these circles we're going to do the same process. We're going to click on the path right here. We're going to hold shift to make a perfect circle. Like that. And we're going to hold alt to make a duplicate of the circle. Like that. And once again repeat the process. Make a thin line. Sometimes the tool can be a little little annoying and keep going make one of the space like that Oops. don't do that make sure that your s is at the center right here shift do one more shift do one more like that and a final piece here in the middle like this which will be the center all right now that we have all these features, we select them all, make sure that the stroke is at around 1. We give the background a color of a kind of a light yellow, like so. Give this little feature a kind of more golden color in there. And then we'll leave all the features this kind of beigey yellow color that we see right here. And the centered dodge will give it a yeah, kind of a same, similar color to this outside edge. Alright, first thing we do, we grab the line segment tool and we're going to create these little notches that we see here. And there's 360 of them. We go around the circle. So we'll click on the anchor right here, hold shift, make a line about that long. Make sure it's stroke of one. Then we'll press R for the rotate tool. We'll hold alt and click on the center of the instance we want to rotate around. And here you put down an angle. The angle is super simple, all you do is you can put 360 divided by the amount of segments you want around the circle. So if you want 10 segments, you'll get 10 of these lines around here. But in our case, we want actually 360 segments. So you can go 360 divided by 360, which is just one degree. So if I look at preview, I'll see that it makes an instance of this at one degree interval. So we'll hit copy and then we'll do press control and D and we'll just hold control and D all together and this will just copy the last command that we did and we'll bring this thing all around the circle to there. Then we're going to select this, we're going to make it a bit longer than the others, about to there, make sure that's uniform. It's a, uh, sorry, stroke of one again. We press R and Alt in the center again. And we're going to displace this by an angle of 20 degrees. Like that. And we'll go copy. And once again, go around the full circle. Then we're going to make this a bit longer. Once again, like that. Again, stroke to zero, to one. And press R. Hold Alt, click in the center, and we're going to displace this by an angle of 10, which will put it in between these lines first. And then again, press Alt, click in here, and we're going to displace it by an angle of 20. Press Copy. And what I'll do is it will copy itself in between each one of these lines like that. Perfect. Then we'll use our text tool right here. We'll start with the number of zero. Make sure that it is centered. It's aligned to the center. Oops. Don't stretch it out. And you want it a good height. Right about there. And we do the exact same thing as we did with lines with this feature. We press R. Once again, press R. Hold Alt, click on the center that we have in here. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to find. And copy by 20 degrees. that. And then we're just going to add the numbers to this. 20, 40, 
60 and so forth. So you can apply this method to really anything that you want to copy around a circle, whether it be a line or, or a shape or a pattern, they all will work. So it makes it a very um, time efficient way of creating patterns around circles. So we're almost there, 32. 34. Great. So now we have our shape around a circle. So now we're going to create these interior dials. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use our line tool. We'll select this anchor point and we'll bring it to this anchor point right there. We'll make sure that has a stroke of one like that. Then we are going to make it along the line here and we'll make it roughly to about there. Then we'll use the R tool, hold Alt to the center and we'll displace it by 22.5 degrees, which is half of 45. Press copy and once again, hold Alt, click again and displace by negative 45, which will basically move it to right over here, like so, we'll copy, there we go. Now we'll use the pen tool Click on this anchor point, bring it down to here, bring it down to here, and close it off like that. Now to stop this little point from sticking out like that, we're just gonna go to our stroke settings, and the corner we're gonna choose as a bevel join, like so. Then we're gonna copy this shape, and we're gonna press Ctrl Shift V, paste in place, right click, transform, and reflect. And we're gonna reflect it by 90 degrees like so. We're going to hold shift and then bring it to here. And that's the basis of the shape. Then we're going to give this a kind of darker gray color and this we're going to give the color of the background here. And make sure that again the stroke is a bevel joint. Awesome. Now we select both of these shapes, press R, Alt for the center. I can find it there. I think that did it. And we're doing angle 45. Take a look at that. That looks to be okay. Copy. Press Ctrl D. And it looks like I didn't choose the center there. So let's try that again. R. Center right there. And then go 45. Let's copy. And there we go. All the objects now line up to each other. Now to add one other feature, we're going to click on this point right here, this anchor point, and hold shift and pull it out to this outer line and do the same for this shape right here, like that. And then we're just going to select both of these shapes, hold R, click on R, Hold Alt, click in the center, and rotate it by 90 degrees, like so. And then go copy, D, D. And then we're just gonna delete the shapes that are sitting in front of them like this. Like that, this, and don't need that. Perfect. Now, to add another effect to these little lines that we see here, I'm just double, gonna double click on this to isolate it. We're gonna use the line segment tool and we're gonna create a line by holding shift and dragging out a line about so. Then we're gonna hold alt and shift and move it till it's past this point. Then we're gonna click both of these using shift, go to object, blend, and then make. Then we'll go to object, blend, and blend options. We're gonna choose specified steps and you get to choose how many of these objects you want to create between these two points. In this case, I think around 30 works very well. Now we'll press OK. Now, if we want to use any Pathfinder or any other options on this blend, we actually can't. What we have to do before we want to modify each one of these individual lines, we have to go to Object and Expand. Make sure that all of these are 
ch checked off and press OK. Then hold Shift and select the object behind it here. Then we'll go to Path Finder and choose Divide. And that's how we have kind of our background color. And the background color, we can make it a bit lighter so it's a bit more contrast. But there you have it. So again, we'll select this, press R, Alt on the center, and we're gonna rotate this by 90 and copy around. And then just delete this bit like that. Great. And then the last little bit, super simple, we're just gonna add our north south arrows. So we're going to create this and first we're going to put it right here to make sure everything is nicely disturbed. We're going to give it a size a bit bigger, about 21, yeah that's okay. And press R, hold Alt, click on the center, rotate by 45 degrees, copy, D. Then we're going to move this out about so and once again press R hold to the center and rotate by 90 and this accidentally makes a bit too many instances so we actually have to delete these ones there we go and then you just apply your direction so here we want east here we want south west and we can rotate this a bit again rotate this point north is okay this is north east this is southeast this is southwest and this is northwest and in between the points you can add a little flourish like this point right there let's copy it Add the flourish, add the flourish, add the flourish. And there you have it. That's how you create a kind of antique navigational compass. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or feedback, please don't hesitate to give us a post or a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos. And as always, have a great day.